If you love Karate Kid as much as we do, then you know what all the hype about Cobra Kai is. We love nothing more than a good spin-off for our shows, when we're in denial about its ending, but spin-offs have their own magic and cast, we're curious to see how many of our familiar faces return, or if we have new characters to fangirl over. So we're gonna talk about the new Cobra Kai Season 5 cast in this video. First off, we have Daniel LaRusso, played by Ralph Macchio. Daniel LaRusso was the main character in the Karate Kid movies, and in Cobra Kai, he replaced Mr. Miyagi as the sensei. If you found his character laid back and charming before, you will again. But this time, LaRusso has more responsibility. Especially after Mr. Miyagi left him with such big shoes to fill, we see how he copes with the passing away of his former friend and mentor and tries to make him proud. But Daniel finds it more difficult to teach Miyagi's brand of karate. He first had to contend with Johnny, but in more recent seasons, they've teamed up to fight Cobra Kai. Daniel appears to be raising the white flag at the beginning of the season, but that won't last long because because they're aware of what Terry Silver and Cobra Kai really stand for. His character shown as someone who suffered a difficult past, but who's willing to change himself for the better, which is shown by him taking in Robbie as a student. Ralph Macchio has undoubtedly had the most well-known part in his career as the Karate Kid, but he has also had roles in The Outsiders, My Cousin Vinny, and The Deuce. Next up, we have none other than William Zabka playing Johnny Lawrence. Johnny Lawrence was the Karate Kid's antagonist, but Cobra Kai has revised the role to be a more significant part of the narrative from the beginning. Although Lawrence and LaRusso first opposed each other as Cobra Kai moves in perilous directions, they finally teamed up. Lawrence reacts negatively to the events in Season 4 like LaRusso does in the fifth season of Cobra Kai. It's revealed that Johnny has switched from being a karate instructor to working as a rideshare driver while simultaneously attempting to bridge the rift between Robbie and Miguel. But it's also clear that Johnny can't avoid the conflict for very long. We see his character improving over time and accepting his mistakes even though he wasn't fond of Daniel in the beginning. He slowly warms up to him. His character development throughout the season makes us realize certain things about him and understand him further. Although he's starring in the first season of The Equalizer, Hot Tub Time Machine, and numerous episodes of How I Met Your Mother, as himself, Zabka is most recognized for this role. Moving on, we have Zolo Mardo's portrayal of Miguel Diaz. Miguel's introduced as Johnny's neighbor, and Johnny teaches him karate so that he can protect himself from bullies. Miguel develops into one of Johnny's top students, but struggles as a result of being in exposed to Johnny, Daniel, and John Kreese's various teaching approaches. He finds himself changing due to the Cobra Kai mentality and has to cope with these changes. The connection with Johnny also gets challenging because Johnny needs to juggle his relationship with Robbie, his biological son, and Miguel. Miguel traveled to Mexico at the end of the season 4 in order to track down his biological father and gain some insight into who he is. He'll return to the valley eventually, but the situation with Robbie, Johnny, and the others still doesn't seem promising. We see him struggling to slowly accept and he knows who his father is now. He blames his mom a little bit for hiding it from him, but then eventually understands her reasoning. Solo Mardio's most notable performance prior to Cobra Kai was in the television series Parenthood, but he'll also play the title character in the upcoming superhero film Blue Beetle. Up next, how can we forget Tanner Buchanan as Robbie Keane? Although Robbie Keane is biologically Johnny Lawrence's child, Johnny wasn't really involved in his upbringing. In order to get even with Johnny, Robbie grew closer to Daniel LaRusso as a result. And all Ultimately, Robbie started taking instructions from LaRusso, but Robbie and Miguel's feud causes a lot of issues, and in the end, Robbie decides to enter Cobra Kai. Although he's very hesitant at first, he slowly opens up to the idea of someone actually caring about him and the fact that he doesn't have to keep his guard up anymore. This is shown through his unconditional loyalty to the other members during different events. Robbie and Miguel are still unwilling to put their disagreements aside as we approach Season 5, which appears to be going to cause another fight, plus Robbie also changes after finding out that Daniel betrayed him during the time he's in jail, he changes a lot and becomes more cynical towards everything and this eventually leads him to losing everyone that he's close to. We see even more of his relationship with his father later on in the season and how that affects him. Tanner Buchanan has made appearances in Designated Survivor, The Fosters, and He's All That, in addition to Cobra Kai. Last but not least, we have Peyton List playing Tori Nichols. Tori Nichols, who has been a member of Team Cobra Kai since the beginning, and Sam LaRusso had a special rivalry that led to the season 2 school fight. Tori, however, begins to get close to Amanda LaRusso, Sam's mother, in the fourth season. As a result, when Tori confronts Sam in the All-Valley Tournament Final, she fights inside the guidelines. Tori triumphs, and it's later discovered that Terry Silver bought the referee to side with her. Paintless portrays her character well, showing
showing both her aggressive side as she struggles with her feelings and her passion and sense of righteousness. Peyton List previously worked on the Disney Channel as a star of the TV show Bunked and the live-action Diary of a Wimpy Kid films. And now for some other related news. First off, when will Cobra Kai Season 6 possibly be released? There isn't a confirmed release date for Cobra Kai Season 6 yet. The showrunners have, however, undoubtedly talked about extending the narrative. However, it seems like Season 6 is definite since Hurwitz once more stated on Twitter immediately after the show's debut that they've begun planning for it, although it hasn't yet been written. Cobra Kai shot to the top of the Netflix ratings in less than a day, demonstrating the show is highly anticipated and adored. Undoubtedly, it won't be long before we learn that they have received approval. Next up, following Cobra Kai's success, Sony's announced a new Karate Kid movie? A new Karate Kid film has been confirmed by the Hollywood studio Sony, and the U.S. release date of June 7, 2024 has been set. The new film's being billed as the return of the original Karate Kid franchise, as reported by the entertainment media site The Hollywood Reporter. The project, which is under Sony Columbia Picture label, lacks a cast and director. The Karate Kid, a 1984 movie starring Ralph Macchio and William Zabka, served as the first entry in the franchise. The Karate Kid Part 2 and Part 3 and the next Karate Kid were released after that. The Karate Kid, which starred Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith, was the first film in the franchise to get a remake in 2010 due to the success of Cobra Kai, a Netflix original series that stars younger actors in addition to original stars Ralph Macchio and William Zabka. The franchise is well liked by younger generation today. Sony has revealed the dates of the release of all its future movies on top of the next Karate Kid movie. And finally, Cobra Kai's lack of connection to the new Karate Kid movie causes a serious issue. Cobra Kai won't be mentioned in the upcoming Karate Kid movie, but that poses a significant dilemma for the picture. Last time the Karate Kid series appeared in any capacity on the big screen was more than 10 years ago. However, it's been close to 30 years since the most recent installment of the Mr. Miyagi franchise was produced. After announcing that a new Karate Kid movie will be released in 2024, Sony intends to change that. The teaser implied that the upcoming movie will have a direct relationship with the first movies and perhaps Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai does get a lot of praise for reviving interest in the story, especially considering how well liked the Karate Kid franchise once was. After the first Karate Kid, the second show brought back Ralph Macchio and William Zabka as Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence to carry on their rivalry. Since then, Cobra Kai has a history of surprising cameo appearances by Karate Kid characters in key roles. Everyone is returned, including John Kreese, Terry Silver, Ali Mills, Cho Zen, Mike Barnes, and Jessica Andrews. It seems to make sense that the news of a new Karate Kid movie broke. People assumed it had anything to do with Cobra Kai. Since then, the show's creators have denied being involved, which poses a significant issue. Now they definitely have a challenge and high level of expectations from us. Let's see what they come up with. And that's a wrap for this video. Whose portrayal are you most excited to see? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more just like it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.